Hello, this video, it's an application on the basic accounting equation. So what we will do, we will have several examples. We will analyze the transactions and we see how to classify them using the basic accounting equation. So the first transaction that we're having, Sam decides to open a computer programming service, which he names Meganet. On September 1st, 2020, Sam invests $15,000 cash in the business. It means what we're having here, and because it's a double entry, so every time that we're having any transaction, it will affect at least two accounts. So first, $15,000, it means the cash increased by $15,000. This is why we're having cash plus $15,000. And at the same time, okay, this uh, Sam, he's an owner, so his ownership increased in this company. This is why the owner's equity and more specifically the owner's capital, it's plus $15,000. Transaction two, purchase of equipment for cash. Meganet purchases computer equipment for $7,000 cash. It means here the company paid cash, so its cash decreased by 7,000, okay? and it paid in order to acquire an equipment. This is why the equipment, it increased. And the equipment, it's part of assets. So as you can see, minus 7,000 in cash, plus 7,000 in equipment like this, we're having all the time the equality. It means zero assets, zero in the liabilities and owner's equity. At any time, you can pause the video and you can test your knowledge as well. Now we're having transaction three, Meganet purchases for $1,600 from ACME supply company, computer, paper, and other supplies expected to last several months. The purchase is made on account. It means we got, okay, computer paper, okay, it means supplies. However, we didn't pay. This is why they said on account, okay? So what we're having here, the supplies, they increased by 1,600, this is why under supplies we're having plus 1,600. And the accounts payable, because we will pay later, so it's a liability, okay? It's 1,600 as well, so this is also we're having equality in the basic accounting equation. We go now to transaction four, Meganet receives $1,200 cash from customer for programming services it has provided. So whenever we are providing a service, it means we what we are doing, we are earning revenue, okay? And since we received cash, so this is why the cash will increase by 1,200. And on the other side of the equation, we're having revenue, it increased by $1,200. We move to transaction five. Meganet receives a bill for $250 from the Daily Star for advertising but postpones payment until a later date. It means we uh, use the service provided by the Daily Star, okay? However, we didn't pay uh, till now. So what we're having here, it's an expense that we're having because we already used the service provided, okay? However, we didn't pay. This is why it's a liability. It's account payable. We will pay them later. As you can see, from one side of equation, we are having plus and minus, okay? Plus 250, minus 250, it means it's zero, and the equality is always uh, here. We move to transaction six. Meganet provides $3,500 of programming services for customers. So whenever you are providing something, it means you are earning revenue. The company receives cash of 1,500. It means the cash increased by 1,500. And it builds the balance of 2,000 on account. It means I delivered the service. However, they paid me part of it. And the other part, they will pay me later. Okay, so this is part of the assets and it's called accounts receivable. It means they will pay me later. This is why we're having plus 2,000 in the accounts receivable and plus $1,500 in the cash. It's equal 3,500 equal 3,500. And we're having here a transaction seven, Meganet pays the following expenses in cash for September. It means as we are paying in cash, it means our cash in the company, it decreased. So uh, it pays cash for rent 600, for salaries of employees 900, and utilities 
200 utilities it means everything like water and electricity so as you can see minus 600 minus 900 minus 200 and cash and on the other side of the equation we're having them on the expenses now we move to transaction eight meganet pays its 250 dollars daily star bill in cash okay as you can see we're having transaction five where we had 250 that we have to pay them. So now we paid them, it means our cash decreased. This is why we're having minus $250 and we uh, don't owe any more daily star. This is why we're having minus $250 in the accounts paid. And we're having now transaction line, Meganet receives $600 in cash from customers had been built for services in transaction six. As you know, in transaction six, they didn't pay us all uh, the amount. This is why we're having $2,000 in accounts receivable. And now they paid us $600. It means our cash increased by $600 and the accounts receivable, they decreased by $600. Finally, we're having transaction 10. Sam withdraws $1,300 in cash from the business for his personal use. Okay, since the owners, they are different from the company, even if he's the owner. Okay, so he withdraws $1,300. It means the cash decreased by $1,300. Okay, and at the same time, we're having an account called owner's drawing. It's also minus $1,300 that we deduct from the owner's equity. So since all the transactions, they were balanced, at the end, we will have also balanced accounts where assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Thank you for watching. If you're having any question, please write it down in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.